It's time for the Big Daddy of Spotlights. Hello everyone, Silver O'Neill of Gene Day Reviews here, with a servant spotlight for the undisputed president of the big boy club, Ivan the Terrible. We'll be examining his stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize him effectively, and an overall grade, comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 5 star servants. Now, let's take a look at Ivan's stats. Ivan has a max HP of 13,284 and a max attack of 11,619. Both his attack and HP are just slightly above average for his class. Compared to all the other 5 star servants as a whole though, his HP is a little below average while his attack is a little above average. His stats overall are as close to average as can be, which isn't necessarily a bad thing as it means he is balanced both offensively and defensively with no major weaknesses. Taking a look at his skills, Ivan's first skill is Contradictory Mentality, rank A. It increases his NP gain for 3 turns between 30 and 50% depending on level, and it also removes all debuffs. His second skill is Innocent Monster Divergent, rank A, which grants him between 5 and 10 crit stars per turn for 3 turns, and increases his buster card effectiveness for 3 turns between 20 and 40%, both depending on level. And finally, his last skill is Emergency Powers, rank A. It applies invincibility to himself for 1 turn, also decreases the attack of all enemies for 3 turns between 10 and 20%, depending on level, and it removes all buffs from all enemies. For his passives, Ivan has Magic Resistance, Resistance rank D+, which increases his debuff resist by 13%, and Riding EX, which increases his quick card effectiveness by 12%. Moving on to his deck and Noble Phantasm, Ivan has an Arts Buster deck with Quick Arts Arts Buster Buster and a Buster Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm, very Kresni code, increases his NP strength for one turn between 30 and 70%, depending on overcharge. It also deals heavy damage to all enemies with between a 300 and 500% damage modifier, depending on level and decreases the buster resistance of all enemies for 3 turns by 20%. This can be upgraded through an interlude, which increases the damage modifier to between 400 and 600% depending on level, and decreases the buster card resist of all enemies by 30%. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that his quick card hits 4 times, his arts hits 3 times, his buster hits twice, and his extra attack hits 4 times. He has an NP gain rate of 0.62% and a star rate of 8.9%. This is some very good NP gain due to the high NP gain rate and 3 hit arts card, but just average star generating as he only has 1 quick card, but does have some good hit counts. Not sure if you noticed or not, but Ivan is a rather large fellow. And that's for the better, since as a 5 star rider, he has big shoes to fill if he wants to stand out. After all, the class is packed to the brim with powerhouse servants. And if you were to just take a look at Ivan's stats on paper, he may not immediately catch your eye. His HP and attack are just average, his deck is the typical buster deck, and even his passives aren't great, as despite having Riding EX, he only has one quick card to benefit from it. But Ivan does have two incredible advantages that really does set him apart from most riders, his NP gain and his sheer amount of utility and power in his skill set. Starting with his NP gain, it is deceptively good, as he has a very good NP gain rate for the amount of hits on his arts card. And as a rider, he's prone to critting often, making arts crits a very common thing. His already good NP gain is further bolstered by his disgustingly good first skill, Contradictory Mentality. This skill gives him a huge 50% NP gain buff on a very short cooldown. If that weren't enough, it also clears all debuffs, making it a strong tool for boss fights and challenge quests. To put this skill in perspective, it's the same as Gil and Dante's Golden Rule Rank A, except it has an even shorter cooldown, and it also clears all debuffs. In other words, this is easily one of the best NP gain skills in the game. Ivan also has access to a strong buff in his second skill, Innocent Monster, another skill with a criminally short cooldown that gives him a powerful 40% buster buff and also generates 10 stars per turn for 3 turns. It's worth noting that even though the buster buff is only 40% compared to the usual 50% from Mana Burst, Ivan's buff lasts for 3 turns, which means it's almost always going to be more DPS than Mana Burst. The crit star generating is also very beneficial for Ivan in particular, because as a rider, he has the highest star weight of any servant class. 
making it very easy for him to crit off of his own skill, which further buffs his DPS. And if a skill that is literally a 2030 fused with a mana burst wasn't enough, Ivan has one of the best defensive skills in the game in emergency powers. This skill grants him invincibility and also lowers the attack of all enemies and removes all of their buffs. Invincibility is the best kind of defensive skill and that alone makes this skill good but the attack down on top of it also provides defense to your whole party because it effectively acts as a 20% defense buff to your team. But by far the most astounding thing this skill offers is the AoE buff removal, which is an exceptionally rare skill for a servant to have, and is absolutely invaluable in challenge quests and in multi-enemy boss fights. All of Ivan's skills are amazing, but I recommend leveling Innocent Monster first for the raw damage, followed by Contradictory Mentality for the consistency, and then Emergency Powers last, as it is a bit more situational. Ivan's Noble Phantasm is an AoE buster attack that increases his own NP damage before activation, and decreases the buster resist of all enemies after it hits. Even though this is an AoE Noble Phantasm, the damage on it is very good thanks to the big NP damage buff, and it gets even stronger later on after Ivan receives his NP interlude. The buster resist down is also a strong and versatile debuff that gives Ivan strong support power in buster teams as he can raise the entire team's DPS significantly. Given Ivan's great Noble Phantasm gain, it is also easy to Noble Phantasm in quick succession so that you can stack the debuff. Ivan is a serious contender for the best skill set in the whole game. He has access to so much utility, support, and damage that it's mind-boggling, and there is very little that he can't do. When you also take into account his decent HP and attack, it becomes apparent that Ivan is one of the most balanced and well-rounded servants around. He's capable of very good damage thanks to his buster buff, his noble phantasm, and his crit star generating. He has the perfect defensive option in emergency powers and his debuff removal, and his ability to remove all enemy buffs and lower their resistance to buster damage gives him incredible utility in tough content. He pairs perfectly alongside most buster servants and is versatile enough to be used in most situations, whether it's simple wave clearing or an event challenge quest, and he can do this all on his own without the need for much support, which makes him the perfect solution for newer players or free-to-play players who may lack some of the more premier elite servants. But for all Ivan can do, he isn't without weaknesses. For one thing, despite his utility, he's still mostly a selfish offensive servant. And when paired with other more powerful buster servants, he will steal stars from them and the support that he provides in return is a little situational and not as straightforward as something like Ozzy's Charisma and NP Charge. His skill set in Noble Phantasm also limits him to buster teams if you want to get the most out of him, which does hurt his versatility a little bit. But at this point, even I gotta admit I'm just being nitpicky and stretching a little bit for some weaknesses, so let's move on to team comp. Like I said, Ivan is built for the buster meta. He excels as an offensive semi-support on a high firepower offensive team. To that extent, I recommend pairing him with buster supports who can provide healing or attack buffs. Supports who can give Ivan attack buffs are especially important because those buffs are going to stack multiplicatively with his buster and NP buffs. So servants like Mosh, Nero Bride, and Leonidas are some good choices. Mosh and Bride give good attack buffs and they can help with survivability. And in Bride's case, she can further supercharge Ivan's NP gain. Leonidas doesn't have an attack buff, but his buster buff still pairs nicely with Ivan's, and Ivan's attack down works very well with Leonidas' taunts, in case you need to tank an enemy for several turns. Ivan also works well when teamed up with more offensive buster servants who have a way of gathering stars off of him, or buffing attack, like Nobu, Maeve, and Lancer Raiko. Nobu's star absorb gives her a reliable means of using the crit stars that Ivan can generate, and in turn she provides him a strong Noble Phantasm gain buff to match his own. Maeve is a specialized buffer for male servants, and her 40% attack buff and eventual 30% defense debuff increases Ivan's damage exponentially. And Lancer Raiko can both buff Ivan and make use of the stars he generates for some high burst damage. Ivan's Bondcraft Essence is Library of Ivan the Terrible. It buffs the party's buster and NP damage by 10%. Pretty good for Ivan if you're rolling with a heavily offensive team. But if you want to build Ivan for damage, then I recommend using buster buffing craft essences like Aerial Drive 
Our conquest is the Sea of Stars, Limited Zero, and Hero Elichan. You can also build him for crit damage using craft essences like 2030, Gem Magecraft, Victor from the Moon, and Joint Recital. In the future, I recommend using Gil in New York as it buffs his buster damage and NP gain to improve your overall NP damage and spammability. Overall, Ivan is a tremendously strong and versatile rider. He has one of the most impressive and flexible skill sets in the game for dealing with any situation. He has strong DPS thanks to his ability to feed himself crit stars, his obscene buster buff, and his noble phantasm. And his good NP gain allows him to both support your buster team with the rare buster resist down debuff and also farm waves effortlessly. His only real downsides are his somewhat selfish nature, especially in regards to crit stars, and that it can sometimes be hard to use him as effectively outside of pure buster team comps. But those are very minor complaints on an otherwise outstanding servant so Ivan gets an A from me. Ivan is a very strong servant that can perform a variety of roles without needing stellar supports, so I do highly recommend him for newer players, and even experienced whales will still use him for his sheer versatility. In my opinion, the only thing preventing him from being as good as Ozzy is that Ozzy is just a little easier to use and more straightforward while still being just as flexible and effective. But in any case, if I have to compare a servant to Ozymandias or Gil to find weaknesses, then you know that they're top tier. And those are my thoughts on Ivan. But what do you think about this big boy king? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over at our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So we're only out. Later.